So I'm having some fun inserting the control rods into the horns at the back for the elevator and, uh, and rudder. And I just thought I'd uh, share a little bit of that with, share a little bit of the fun with you because I think it might help. So um, I've, I've got the rudder control horn on already and I'll also put include some still shots. I've got some uh, very high magnification still shots zoomed in to show exactly how that works. But effectively what I have is I have the control rod here. I have a piece of heat shrink tubing on the control rod and I have that little clip that feeds uh, that, that clips into the elevator horn and that little clip is also needs to be fed into the heat ring tubing. So the, the couple of things to note here is one is there's two sizes of heat ring, heat shrink tubing included in the kit. Uh, the larger one I'd previously used here on the wheels to keep the wheels onto their onto the axle and I used the smaller one previously. Uh, let's see, where did I use the smaller one? Um, it, it, I forget for now, but it, it'll come to me. But uh, but it turns out that for these guys, the small one is just isn't going to cut it. You're going to have to use the large one because you need to get not just the control rod, but also this clip into the, into the um, inside the the heat shrink tube, which is even though it's hasn't been shrunk yet, it's pretty much almost impossible to do. And also, just as a hint or a tip, um, perhaps, you know, you have finer control of your hands than I do, but I found that I had to use not just one pair of tweezers, but two tw pairs of tweezers. So so one pair to hold the, the shrink, heat shrink, shrink tube and the other pair to feed the little piece of clip in here. The last um, hint about the clip in terms of which which way round it goes. Um, you could put the round end on on the control horn end. I'm pretty sure uh, that's a not just a maybe a, a choice you could make but I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea. Um, you know I guess if you never need to take off uh, those things off the control horns maybe you're fine but um, but by putting the clips this way around with the square end into the control horn, um, it gives you the ability to unclip it and potentially, if necessary, um, to put it into a different hole into the control horn. And that would be basically impossible if you used the round end and put the round end on there. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm going to video, we'll see um, if I include it, but I'm just going to video the the, the interesting experience of putting the um, putting the heat shrink tubing in putting that that clip inside the end of the heat shrink tubing. So I've got the heat shrink tubing run over the over the control rod, and then what I need to do is feed that piece. Oh my goodness, that worked quite well. So that we now have two pieces of heat shrink tubing. Oh, that one's popped out. Wonderful. So I guess I get to show you that too. Because I didn't shrink it because I wanted to show you on the video. And now what I have to do is very carefully feed that In. Now what we want to do, probably obvious to most, um, is make sure that when we shrink that tubing, that we shrink it with the elevator perfectly straight and the ele so the elevator perfectly flat with the or lined up with the um, with the actual. Uh, uh, the elevator itself, the elevator flat lined up with the elevator. Um, of course we can trim later with the con with the uh, transmitter but ideally we want to get this basically trim, trim and, and true. So that should be there and we make sure the rudder is 
basically perfectly lined up. And now we get out our heat gun and we heat that shrink wrap, shrink wrap tubing. We've got some good equipment but not enough workspace so really what we need to do here is just just need to plug in my dead little device here. Some people use a lighter for that. A, I don't like using a lighter and B, um, I really don't want to get anywhere near this plane right now made of balsa wood with paint um, with a lighter. So what we do So I've got my little heat gun tool here, set for 175, and I'm just going to wait for it to warm up. So it's basically just a fancy hairdryer with a tiny little tube that I can, I can point very precisely. Just make sure I didn't misalign anything when I put that down. We're good. This gets very hot very quick. This heat gun, which is perfect for this. It's actually what it's what it's made for, so. There we go. It's shrunk on nicely. Let's do this one. Good. Let that cool down a little bit. And there we have it. Is that our control rods fitted to the plane? I'll do a couple pictures and put them in the video as well. But uh, the last thing we're going to do in a minute is test it again. Thank you.